Hi. First of all, I would like to thank Russia to for giving me this opportunity to have my keynote speakers uh, sessions in this 20th International Conference on Research. At the same time, I also want to welcome all the speakers for this conference. So today, my topic will be about project-based learning. So first of all, um, what is project-based learning? Yeah, so actually the project-based learning is a, like a systematic teaching method that engage students in essential knowledge and skills through an inquiry process structure around complex, relevant questions, carefully designed products, and authentic tasks. So um, basically, the project-based learning are uh, connecting the student to the real-world connection, core to learning, structure collaboration, and also student driving. So this is actually a dynamic pro approach to teaching in which students explore real-world problems and challenges. Simultaneously, develop cross-curriculum skill while working in a small collaboration group. Learning experiences are designed as a complex, authentic, real-world project. So this is uh, the background or the basics of what is meant by problem-based learning. Okay, so here I would like to share with um, you about what's the difference between projects and project-based learning. So a project is like um, teacher has the knowledge. Okay, teacher gives direction to student. Students follow direction. Student learns facts following direction, and student present the facts, and then the unit ends. Whereas the PBL, the project based learning, is a bit different. Is yeah, teacher has a question. Teacher asks questions, and then student diverse their own direction to take to solve the problem. Student test and revise their own direction. And after that, students learn information and develop skills. So in this process, we can see that students apply their knowledge or skills to solve a real world problem and able to answer more questions. And this shows the difference between the project and the project-based learning. Okay, throughout the project-based learning, so it give or provide multiple intelligences among the students. So what are the multiple intelligences that can be lead or can be provided through the project-based learning are verbal linguistic, Logical mathematics, neutralist, kinetistics, musical, interpers interpersonal, and intrapersonal, and lastly, visual, so that students can see picture and they can tell a, a, a many story. So this is the benefit of having project-based learning. Okay, in slide, in this slide, it shows that the the skills companies need most in 2020. So the top five skills are creativity, persuasion, collaborations, adaptability, and emotional intelligence. And the top 10 hard skills you can see here, number one is black change, cloud computing, analytical reasoning, artificial intelligence, designs, business analysis, affiliation marketing, sales, scientific computing, and video productions. So why I show it here? Because when we conduct product, uh, problem-based learning through the student, the student will have all these skills. So meaning that we are preparing our student towards the, the work the companies that the most need in the 2020-20.
for the learning environment, 21st century skills during the students. The teacher's role is one of coach, facilitator, guide, advisor, or maybe a mentor. Yeah, teacher is not directing and managing all students' work. So for this, we need to create a learning environment. So for this learning environment is we want students working in teams to experience and explore relevance, real world problems, questions, issues and challenges. Then they create then creating presentation and products to share what they have learned. So to learn collaboration means they need to work in team. To learn critical thinking, need to take on complex problems. To learn real and uh, to learn an oral communication means students need to do a presentation, and to learn written communication is students need to write the reports and inculcate with the technology. So we ask students to use the technology, for example, PowerPoint, Swiss and etc. to do their presentation. So besides that, we also, um, during the PBL, we also can develop citizens so that they can take on civic and global issues, such as a plastic waste problem. And also, we, we encourage students to learn about careers, to do internship, to learn content. So they research and do all the above method that I mentioned just now. Okay, here I would like to share with you some tips how to plan your PBLs. So you need to think about the durations, brief, technology, outreach, partnership, and also audience. So um, first of all, you need to develop a project idea. Define the scope of the project. And then uh, think about students' autonomy. Select the standards. So here is um, we need to think about who will select the topic, topics, either the teachers or the students. Supposed to be teachers, right? And then who defines the learning outcome? And then does the teacher select students' input? Do the student and teacher negotiate the learning outcome? And then who will control the timeline and the, the project? Lastly, the teacher needs to incorporate more than academic outcomes into classroom activity. So these are some of the tips, lah, the, the steps that teacher need to think before you can plan your PBL. Okay, next. As I promised earlier just now, I would like to share with you my PBL story. This as I conducted in year 2020 is this year. Okay, so okay, so uh, for my as your knowledge for my country, because um, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic's problem, my my country already announced the school closed uh, since uh, March to. June, July, yeah. So during this session, I actually conducted um, various um, online classes to, with my students. And one of the activity that I conducted, uh, having the class with my student, is the project-based learning. So this is a topic that I told to my students: save our souls from plastics pollution. So as we know, the plastic waste is a global problem. So I want to inculcate this value to my students. So uh, this for this activity, they, they, I give the automate, autonomy, autonomy to my students to form their group. Okay, they can find any members in their classroom to be a group. And then uh, this activity is, was fully based online based activity uh, because teachers and students cannot meet each other. So all stay at home. So this is fully <laughs> based activity. And then um, after they have formed their group, they, they hold a, a discussion. They might be use a Zoom, Telegram, or a Google Meet. Some of them even in Microsoft Teams meetings. 
to conduct their discussion, to gather the information and to discuss the idea, innovate idea and to innovate tools using technology to solve the plastic waste problems. So during the activity, throughout, I give them a month yeah, for this activity. So I can see that the 21st century uh, skills embark during, among the students. So what are the, the skills that can embark during this activity is the communication, collaborations, the use of ICT, knowledge constructions, real world problem solving and self regulations. All these activity these skills you can see around I can see around my students. So here I would like to share with you these are the outcome from my students. They even find uh, the problem the plastic problem. So what is the amount of the plastic waste created? And then they even find the newspaper cuttings, uh, the latest news, and then they find some procedures. Some of them have the procedures to build out the, the materials. Some uh, even a design, a model, look like a car eh, to put into the ocean so that this car, this uh, product, their prototype can help to clean the plastic waste. So they even have quiz. Okay, when during the presentation, they even do kahoots to show the, the understanding of plastic waste problem among their colleagues. Yeah, and then this slide is uh, I would like to show you um, the reflections from my students. So some of them they say that oh, plastics are are very dangerous. And the best solution is to completely stop using plastic. I'm not sure whether it's correct or not. And then some of them say, never know about what is microplastic. And thanks for today's talk. Okay, I, I have talked to them. And then um, some even say that plastic is very dangerous. We need to stop using it frequently. Okay. And then another student will say what I learned about the effects of plastic to the world. Let's save the world together and refuse to use plastics. So and then Andrew will say uh, don't really do much on plastic. So we can see the change and the values is already inculcated in their, in their life. After listening from the group presentation by my students and checking their proposals and their reports, I found that they really put a very, very big effort on to do these PBLs to solve the plastic waste problem. So I decided to decided and I discussed with my student so that I can send them to an, an and international competitions organized by British International Education Association London. Uh, this is called uh, International STEM uh, International Youth STEM Innovations Competitions. It was involved 50 countries and then um, 36 teams from 14 countries made into the international final round. So I'm very proud of my student because they make my country Malaysia be one of the country that managed to go to the final round. So I was so happy during the 1st July was the, the award ceremony. My student won three international awards. They won the best report, best video and rising star. So this is so amazing for me and for my students. At first we were not really plan to participate in this competition but at the end because of their hard work they managed to go until the international levels congrats to my students so before i end my sessions i would like to repeat again about this benefit of conducting a uh, problem-based learning to our students it will enhance 21st century skills that are really really important for their future Okay, so what the skills that can be enhanced or can be get throughout this problem-based learning activity was is the collaborations, the knowledge constructions, 
the real world problem solving and innovations, the skills of communications, the use of ICT for learning, and lastly, about the self regulations. These are most important skills that should every student, every learner have achieved these skills. So I would like to share with you what John Davy says. One says, he says that, if we teach today as we taught yesterday, we rob our children of tomorrow. With that, I end my sharing. Thank you for your attention.